It's not a possible strike. It's a strike. October the 1st, 45,000 ILA workers, which pr pretty much means the majority of the ports in our country was shut down. Major ports. And as he said, which is the truth, <clears throat> the ports that shut down, that will shut down October the 1st, they bring in over half of our goods. Half of the stuff we use, buy, depend on, come through these people. I told y'all, I'm an indicator of how the economy is doing because we handle the majority, half of the nation, not Mobile, not Texas, half of the nation's good. You think the economy is in a tank now? They say one day of a strike, of these people striking, just one day, will back us up seven days for each one day. A month, devastating, and they're looking over a month. Because the thing that they are stuck on, automation, the ports trying to get rid of manual labor, you know, so they don't have to pay the workers. The union is fighting to keep the workers, right? See, the union and the port are not, they're, they're two separate entities. The port is the business. They don't have their own employees. Their employees are union workers that are contracted in to work the ships. The people that own the port don't have workers. Everybody that works in the port are union, except for the first the drivers. All right. So the union and the port are not friends. They're, they don't, they're not together. They're two different businesses on the same land. One needs the other. They need each other. So what the port is trying to do is get to a point where they don't, they don't need the union, right, to save money, the union costing the money. Like now they want a 77% raise. They're not going to get that. You want almost a 100% raise. So let's just put that in perspective. Say they make, they already making like $40 an hour. They want to make $80 an hour. And us as the drivers, I'm going to be honest with you, we ain't down with them, the union. Because they treat us like shit. So we don't give a damn if they don't get it. Because they they cost us money how they be. And I told y'all how they the sorriest work for them. I, don't wanna, I ain't getting into their business. That's their business. But if it comes down to talking about the truck drive with us, siding with the union, no, we siding with the port. Because the port trying to make it better for us when we can get in and out of there. See, the union workers are hurting our pay. They're concerned about their pay. And now they're trying to get us to join in with them because we workers too. But now y'all ain't been down with us. Y'all been killing us, the truckers. We sitting up for hours. That's what the problem is about. That's why the port is trying to upgrade to automation because the manpower, is, it keeps them backed up. They can't flow. We have lines backed up across the bridge trying to get in the port because the union is there on their phone. I'm sitting there looking at them, waiting to get loaded. They on their phone and shit. But they want a 77% raise. The port say no. Y'all ain't worth it. And I agree with the port. 